eye on for tonight. Looking at our temperatures today, again, highs in the low 70s with some gusty winds through this afternoon. Traffic this morning heading out the door looking at the latest conditions. So for this morning, lots of construction. This has been a problem spot for us the last several mornings. So if you've been traveling this way, it is still in effect. 66 westbound Merrifield, you are seeing slowing there. Also 66 eastbound and heading the opposite direction there. It's all just down to one lane this morning as well. Looking at Old Dominion Drive, there is a new accident uh, northbound and southbound. This is in Arlington. It is closed both directions between North Glebe Road and Williamsburg Boulevard. So you're going to need an alternate route there. Wisdom. 418 is the time right now. Let's go to Loudoun County where another sexual assault case is under investigation after three middle school students were charged with assault. The assault happened last month at Smarts Mill Middle School. The three accused students have been taken to the Loudoun County Juvenile Detention Center where they're each charged with one count of aggravated sexual battery. The school says that they will cooperate with the police department. But one parent says he believes the district is continuing to mishandle sexual assault cases. I trust that the law enforcement did their due diligence and investigation, but it's very important to not trust anybody right now and to double and triple check everything and do your own work, do your, do your own homework, do your own, you know, you have to protect your own family. People aren't going to protect you. A new discipline policy was passed by the board, removing students accused of serious offenses from schools into alternative learning programs. In Prince George's County now, a call for a criminal investigation after our exclusive report about possible misappropriation of funds on the school board. Board Chair Dr. Juanita Miller is fighting removal by the State Board of Education. So far, the school district has paid over $30,000 for her legal fees, even though the board never approved it. Last night was the first board meeting since, since Fox 5 broke that story. Dr. Miller, Lindsay Watts with Fox 5. Did you all vote in executive session on paying legal fees for you? Dr. Miller? Excuse me for a second, please. Thank you. Don't you think you don't have no, uh, an ob- you to stay away from me? Dr. Miller, you're a public, you you're a public have, official, you have to get off and we're the talking about the public's money. Don't you have oh. an obligation to talk to people about how their money's being have spent? I obligation to talk to you. There's nothing you want to tell people about these legal fees? County Council Member Edward Burroughs wrote a letter to the Maryland State Prosecutor requesting an investigation. Coming up, what the Consumer Price Index report is revealing about the state of inflation in this country, plus why a new report says that it may be cheaper to eat out this Thanksgiving than opting to make your own food at home. And we're also going to tell you how much holiday shoppers have spent so far on gifts, according to new data. Also, when we return, Claire has another check of your forecast as the rain moves into the DMV. Cox plans are flexible, and it's really quite clever. Add TV, phone, or home automation, whenever. 